In Buddhist temples, you find a common symbol of a wheel with eight spokes with a hole in the center for the axle. The eight spokes represent the Noble Eightfold Path taught by the Buddha. While living in Sri Lanka, I was offered an additional meaning of this symbol. The eight spokes represent the eight worldly winds. They are four pairs of opposites, pleasure and pain, gain and loss, praise and blame, and fame and disrepute. They are the four things we hope for and the four things we fear. The wheel of these eight winds is always turning. It never stops. It is the hole in the center of the wheel that holds the key. It is empty. From the center we can see all the eight worldly winds without being caught up in them. And that center is a reminder of our own emptiness which gives us the ability to see ourselves as more than these eight worldly winds that come our way, to in fact see ourselves in everyone and everything and see everyone and everything in us. And what I like about this teaching of the eight worldly winds is that they are always changing. We can't get comfortable thinking, ah, oh, now I'm a popular person and this is how my life is going to be. And it's not about what other people think. It's about this empty space in the center of the wheel is this place of not being taken up and down by these winds. When you gain something, when you lose something, it's this ability to stay, okay, life has its ups and downs, but here I can still be okay regardless. I can go up with the ups, I can go down with the downs, but not lose myself in either of them. I can enjoy, I can grieve, I can be grateful when things come my way, I can release things and be okay with being disappointed when things don't go my way, and know that it's all part of the journey. The key is we have to have a center inside of us that exists independently of what other people think of us, that we have to know. I think of people like Nelson Mandela in jail for 27 years, or people who've been maligned or wrongly accused. How do you, when everyone, maybe many, many people misunderstand you or have judged you, or the opposite, if they've taken you to be something you're not in a positive sense, you have to be true to yourself. You have to know what's true about you, and that is your guide. Nothing's wrong when bad things happen. <laughs> Difficult things happen. That's part of how it works, just as good things come to us. So much of these things are not personal. War. It's not because all those people are bad that they're getting bombed. We can't take things personally. So that whole, that still quiet place in the middle of this ever-turning wheel is also about not taking all of that personally. Things are coming, things are going. We take the lessons we can take from our life. We let things go. We don't atta let them attach to a sense of a self. This mantra, you are partly right, is it's a helpful place of being able to stay centered, whatever comes our way. So whether it's praise, whether it's blame, criticism, or appreciation, we take in the parts that are helpful and we don't have to take everything else. So this has been a very helpful teaching for me. As someone who I think has been very concerned in my life with pleasing people, and that has a very deep root of wanting to feel safe, wanting to know I'm going to be taken care of, right? That's collective also, this human, we lived in very small groups of people in the past, and if you did something that would make your group reject you, you wouldn't survive alone. I'm sure I'm, like many other people, a, a lot of suffering arises if we feel people 
don't appreciate us or criticize us or blame us or judge us. There's times when this can be constructive and we really need to learn from what people are telling us and take it in. And we also need to be able to have a deep enough relationship with ourself and have enough of an appreciation for ourself, like to really know our worth, that no matter what we've done, really, no matter what we've done, if we are on a path, of healing, of, of forgiving ourselves, of making amends for our mistakes. We can fall down and we can stand up again. And in ourselves we can know other people's judgments of us are not the full picture of who we are. It doesn't mean we don't take in the value in what they're saying to us, because it can be very helpful. But often if it's shared with love, <laughs> it goes much further in terms of helping us. But it needs to be shared. The truth does need to be shared, even if it's painful. If, but if it helps us grow. So we want to be open to that. Sometimes people don't see our full picture and our worth. And if they are critical of us, we need to have something inside of us that can say, there may be some truth to what they're saying, but that's not the whole truth. We have many good things in us. And how do we know that and stay balanced? Of course, the opposite is true as well. If people praise us a lot <laughs> and see a lot of our good qualities, that's wonderful. That's probably a lot, and that is accurate, and we want to take that in and be receptive to that and allow that to nourish the wholesome seeds in us. But also not forget that there are still many parts in our garden that need to be cultivated. It's another reason why spiritual practice is so important, because it's easy to get deceived even <laughs> in ourselves about who we are. And someone tells us something, we're like, well, that's not how I am. But maybe it is. So doing that kind of work to really see and understand who we are, how other people see us, but holding that up against how we see ourselves to get a clearer picture. Usually it's some combination of the two that gets us closest to reality. How we see ourselves, how other people see us. But all of our happiness and suffering can't accompany what other people... If our happiness is dependent on being praised and appreciated, there are going to be times in our lives where we're doing exactly what we need to be doing, but nobody is appreciating and praising us. That doesn't mean we should stop. So how do we have that fuel from within, saying, I know this is what I need to do. Nobody is appreciating, nobody is seeing it, but I know this is what I need to keep doing. Or we're doing something, everyone's blaming us for it and judging us, but I know this is what I need to be doing. I have to keep doing it. So something in us has to be able to be independent. <clears throat> Breathing in, I go back to the island within myself. There are beautiful trees within the island. There are clear streams of water. There are birds, sunshine, and fresh air. Breathing out, I feel safe. I enjoy going back to 